Good morning, YouTubers. <clears throat> Just on a mission today to go and find my old mate Spudder who has just been released out of hospital oh I don't want to start this vlog on a a morning shut that so you can hear me better what a gorgeous day eh well I'm off to see an old friend today he had to go in hospital the other Bill has been in for a fortnight I think he's just come out and he's been putting a, a nursing home so it's a bit sad really lovely lovely lad great mate known him 40 years but oh. uh, but unfortunately a couple of years ago it was he had a couple of strokes and he's just been deteriorating he's just not looking at it he'd be doing all right but he's on his own single fella little flat and uh nobody to look after him except for his great mate not me <laughs> his old mate kenny sent he goes around he looks after him cleans his flat for him you name it he does everything for him uh, anyway, he's had to go to nursing home now, so at least we all know, thanks to Ken, uh, he's getting fed, goes to bed in clean clothes now, a nice Suzuki bandit there, um, I'm looking after so I'm just going to go and see him, nope, <laughs> that's what's put my mind to rest really, give him a bit of a cuggle, I'm, I'm pleased he's gone where he has, because something had to be done. Uh, so that's where I'm off today. Following the Argus truck. So we'll turn right here and he won't be able to... Uh, why is this blue indicator again? Oh, it looked like the race is on, doesn't it, eh? Should we get him? Should we go for him? Sound like more. Hey. Looks like he's having a nice little stroll. It looks like he's vlogging there. His head's going since it doesn't. <laughs> he's having a good lad, that lad in front of him. He's had a scene of me now. <laughs> Morning, mate. <laughs> These bikers, they don't miss a thing, do they? <laughs> Right, so I got up this morning, my wife went to work at 12 o'clock, so I got myself ready to come out and I was ready to come out, my phone was bloody flat as a fluke, so I need a new phone, it's going flat. And uh, it's a shame really, <laughs> yeah, so my phone keeps going flat, uh, so I, put, I had to put that on charge and then uh, I just checked my computer uh, mainly to see if there's any new more news about Alan and that but there wasn't anything but YouTube came on and <laughs> I heard oh Steve on it there I had a blowout today <laughs> oh shit <laughs> I thought he just bought a new tyre poor boy and he's just had a blowout I thought I'm hoping it's in his flunk tyre and he's all right but then I thought oh he'll be all right anyway so it just come on his uh, his channel so I watched it anyway, a, a truck had uh, lost its tread off its tyre you noise. Know, Very cool. <laughs> Re tread. Re mould, that's what he used to call them. I put it down on that and put a little thing on Steve's uh, plank, I said to him. I thought it was him. And I uh, told the story about my. Well, I didn't tell her, I said I, had, uh, I used to have an a, Austin A35 band back in 1971, I think it was, or maybe it could have been, no, but I'll say 71, anyway, 72, and uh, I put these new tyres on it, I got dead cheap, remoles, <laughs> and we were going down the uh, A66 in it, and all of a sudden, my me, me van felt like it was on ice. Just moving from side to side. 
Uh, had my girlfriend at the side of me. That's now my wife. And a couple more in the back of the van, I think. Um, anyway, I pulled off onto the hard shoulder because it's like a bit of a motorway there, St. Peter's Way it is, but involved. So I pulled over onto the left hand side, gets out my car, looks underneath. Nothing, nothing wrong with it at all. My nice shiny new plasticky remolds were still there and everything. Anyway, set off again. It was like, you know, you're setting off, it felt weird, really weird. Nothing, nothing like. Never said even going at a slow speed. Anyway, so pulled over again where there's a bit more light. Turn your indicators off your plunker. Um, had a good look at it and noticed that one of the tyres had split on the inside and uh, it was flapping a bit. So I looked at all the others and all the others had done it. <laughs> and uh, I know they were only uh, the rated to 60 mile an hour or something they were in them days. The one we've had did do much more than that anyway. So, uh, anyway, that was my one and only uh, dealings with remolds and never ever again. I was lucky that I didn't get a blowout. And for all at them all to go at the same time, <laughs> it was a bit real bad rubbish then. So, uh, yeah, so I thought Steve had had a blowout on his bike and it wasn't as a van in front of him. But even so, that's so dangerous that if you're on the motorway and that happens to you, I've seen full trucker's tyres come off. And I'm pleased to say about when I was a I was a bus driver for many a year, and I never had that happen to me on the bus. Just, we just had wheels fall off, <laughs> didn't we, Teddy Stables? Anyway, uh, well that's another story. Anyway, so I'm off to find my little pal now. And uh, I'll end that vlog when I get there. If, I can't even think of the name of the rotten place now, but I know where it is, so just at the bottom of this rail. It's very, very steep though. All in lane. So here I'm, I'm, this is Rhodes here, that beautiful thing. Uh, not the island of Rhodes. <laughs> not the Greek island of Rhodes. No. This is Rhodes Middleton. Yeah. Heating part to the right. Oh. Ah, I'm going to smell a tarmac. Can't whack it. My wife's told me I've got to stop breathing so hard on these videos. <laughs> I think it's just the pressure of uh, my new. Uh, Way of spending time. I'm trying to get some editing done. Um, I've just got an editing suite, can't think of the name of it now, but oh. I had one once that I used to do my photographs with, and put a lot of photographs and put music on and put writing on and all that. Well, the first vlog I put up on my Bonneville's on there somewhere, and I didn't have a you know, that was just photographs, I banged them together and put a few words, you know, under the bottom of it. And I can't do that with this. I've tried and tried. I just want to get something to start that you know the thing off for a couple of seconds, not too long, because I know that puts people off walking, watching them. I know that by experience. <laughs> right, so we're just up here, I think. So I've gone quiet now. Anyway, I'll get back to you and I'll, uh, I'll do a part two of this as well. I might not make it to part two, it's the only shot. I'll uh, do it. I think it's all, uh, are we in this way here now? Turn left here, because I'm not too so sure. Well, that could be it with a greenhouse on it. No, that's just somebody's house. I know it's not a, a big place. Streets I've never been in. Oh. There's the ice cream man. Lady. Come on it. Oh, can I get down there? Yep. 
<laughs> so it's a indicator off again. What's the matter with me today? Well, they are somewhere I've never been before, but drove past it millions of times. So I think I've come down one too soon. I looked at it on Google Maps. So I've taken down the nice back streets and roads. Looking for a nursing home, that could be it there, couldn't it? That's the church. What does this say? Little and residential home care. Right, I'll do. So, I'll see you now. Have another look at me.